So what's going on guys, K this here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the top 4 very high DPS builds in Lost Ark. So for each and every single build I will show you what abilities and awakening skill you want to get. Then I will explain what are the best engravings, runes, gems and even cards to use for end game content. And then lastly I will show you the best gameplay and even which stats you need to allocate for PvE. So you would be able to get the best results and highest damage possible and much more. So no matter how low or high level or gear score your character is, you can easily use these builds and follow the step by step guide. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So the Berserker is a class with high burst and large AOV skills. The damage compensates more than enough for the long cooldowns and low mobility of this class during the leveling and dungeon farming process. He can obliterate massive amounts of groups in just few seconds. So if you are looking for the best leveling, raiding, chaos dungeon or any other PV content build then this is the one for you. Ok so now let's move over to the build itself and these are the skills you want to have. So for the first ability we have the shoulder charge and we use just 4 levels to unlock the excellent mobility, then for your gems you don't want to select anything. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the quick recharge. Then for the second ability we have the hell blade and we want to spend 10 levels to select the leap, deadly blow and earth flip. Then for your gems you want to get both taps, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the next one we have the strike wave ability and we use 10 more levels to unlock the wave, limit break and earth flip. Then for your gems you want to get bow taps, so one for cooldown reduction and the other one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the fourth ability we have the red dust and we use once again 10 levels to unlock the quick preparation, vital point strike and red wave. Then for your gems you want to get the cooldown reduction gem and then lastly for your rune you want to get the bleed. Then for the next one we have the tempest slash ability and we use this time just 4 levels to select the quick preparation. Then for your gems you want to get both taps, so one for cooldown reduction and the other one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the overwhelm. So then for one of the last abilities we have the finish strike and we use 10 more levels to get the tenacity, weak point detection and kill confirm. Then for your gems you want to get both taps, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the seventh ability we have the chain sword and we spend just four levels to unlock the vital point shark. Then for your gems you don't want to select anything. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. And then for the last and final ability we have the sword storm and we use our last 10 levels to select the quick preparation, weak point detection and flame storm. Then for your gems you want to get bow taps, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the overwhelm. Then as well after level 50 for your awakening skill you want to get the berserker's fury. But if you haven't reached level 50 yet then here is a specific guide on which abilities you should upgrade first while leveling with the berserker. And then on top of all this focus on equipping as high item level gear as you can and then at the end game you should have 860 crit and 740 swiftness. But again if you haven't reached this point yet then try to have around 60% stats into crit and 40% stats into swiftness. So then let's move over to the engravings and you want to get all of these 6. My recommendation is to first of all get the top 3 and then for the tier 3 content get the bottom 3. And then last but not the least let's move over to your cards and you want to get the Armin, Syria, Solas, King Tyrant, Carmen and Delane Armin. In a short summary I did bunch of testing for this build and this was the best and most optimized card set. But to find out everything in detail on this build with skill explanations, specific skill combos and everything else check this video where you will find a full in depth guide on this specific berserker build. And just for a sneak peek here is a screenshot of what this build will look like in the super late game where you will have more than 400 points to spend. And then lastly let's move over to the best rotations and I will give you two options. So then for the first rotation you first of all want to use the red dust then the finish strike then the tempest slash and then finish it off with the sword storm. Then for the second rotation we have a pure dps option and you want to use red dust, finish strike, sword storm and then finish it off with the hell blade or strike wave. So in my summary if you are looking for a very high dps berserker build with the most fun mayhem engraving then this is the one for you. So Sorceress is one of the two starting mage classes available in Lost Ark. 
She specializes in dealing ranged magic damage with elements of fire, lightning and ice. This is a very good class for good players as she deals very high damage at all stages of progression. She can even comfortably complete solo or group content. So if you are looking for the best leveling, raiding, chaos dungeon or any other PV content build then this is the one for you. Ok so now let's move over to the build itself and these are the skills you want to have. So for the first ability we have the blades and we use this time just 7 levels to unlock the damage amplification and charge flame. Then for your gems you want to get the cooldown reduction gem and then lastly for your rune you want to get the quick recharge. Then for the second ability we have the rhyme arrow and we use 7 more levels to select the enlightenment and piercing strike. Then for your gems you want to get both taps, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the wolf. Then for the next one we have the esoteric reaction skill and we use 10 levels to unlock the quick preparation, enhanced strike and stabilized crystal. Then for your gems you want to get the cooldown reduction gem. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the quick recharge. Then for the fourth ability we have the punishing strike and we use 10 more levels to select the mine enhancement, electric discharge and magic amplification. Then for your gems you want to get the damage increase gem. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the next one we have the squall ability. And this time we don't want to use any levels. So then for your gems you want to get the cooldown reduction gem. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the rage. So then for one of the last abilities we have the explosion and we use 10 levels to select the ignite, weak point detection and magic amplification. Then for your gems you want to get the damage increase gem. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the 7th ability we have the frost skull and this time we use just 7 levels to unlock the enlightenment and unstable rule. Then for your gems you want to again get both types. So one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the wolf. And then for the last and final ability we have the doomsday. And we use our last 10 levels to select the mine enhancement, asteroid and magic amplification. Then for your gems you want to get the damage increase gem. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then as well after level 50 for your awakening skill you want to get the Enviska Smite. But if you haven't reached level 50 yet then here is a specific guide on which abilities you should upgrade first while leveling with the sorceress. And then on top of all this focus on equipping as high item level gear as you can. And then at the end game you should have 1250 specialization and 350 swiftness. But again if you haven't reached this point yet then try to have around 70% stats into specialization and 30% stats into swiftness. So then let's move over to the engravings and you want to get all of these 6 engravings. My recommendation is to first of all get the top 3 and then for tier 3 content get the bottom 3. And then last but not the least, let's move over to your cards. And you want to get the Armin, Syria, Solas, King Tyrain, Carmen and Delane Armin. And in a short summary, I did a bunch of testing for this build and this was the best and most optimized card set. But to find out everything in detail on this build with skill explanations, specific skill combos and everything else, check this video where you will find a full in-depth guide on this specific sorceress build. And just for a sneak peek, here's a screenshot of what this build will look like in the super late game where you will have more than 350 points to spend. Ok so then let's take a look at your highest skill rotation. So then the best sorceress rotation is to first of all use few damage skills to build up your identity meter so then when you have your arcane rupture available then activate it and then use the explosion then the punishing strike then the rhyme arrow then the esoteric reaction then frost call and then lastly finish it off with the big doomsday ability. So then in my summary if you are looking for the highest damage build in lost arc then this is the best sorceress build for you. So the Deadblade has big AoE skills with high damage to farm big mob groups very quickly. She also has good mobility to make the leveling and endgame dungeon farming very easy and enjoyable. Her skills suffer from relatively long cooldowns, so make sure you group up your enemies to kill them very efficiently. So if you are looking for the best leveling, raiding, chaos dungeon or any other PV content build then this is the one for you. Ok so now let's move over to the build itself and these are the skills you want to have. So for the first ability we have the earth cleaver and we spend just 4 levels to unlock the push. Then for your gems you don't want to select anything. 
And then lastly for your rune you want to get the overwhelm. Then for the second ability we have the soul absorber. And we use 10 levels to select the swift fingers, fist of darkness and half. Then for your gems you want to get both types. So one for cooldown reduction and the other one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the valve. Then for the next one we have the spin cutter ability. And this time we use just 4 levels to get the open weakness. Then for your gems you want to get the cooldown reduction gem. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the quick recharge. Then for the fourth ability we have the Moonlight Sonic and we use 10 levels to unlock the Fist of Darkness, Sustain Enhancement and Shade Sonic. Then for your gems you want to get both types, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the Valve. Then for the next one we have the Dark Axle ability and we use 10 more levels to select the Swift Fingers, Tenacity and High Axle. Then for your gems you want to get the cooldown reduction gem and then lastly for your rune you want to get the protection. So then for one of the last abilities we have the maelstrom and this time we use just 4 levels to get the orb control. Then for your gems you want to get the cooldown reduction gem and then lastly for your rune you want to get the focus. Then for the 7th ability we have the void strike and we use 10 levels to unlock the orb control. Fest of Darkness and Dark Explosion. Then for your gems you want to get both types, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the Valve. And then for the last and final ability we have the Blitz Rush and we use our last 10 levels to select the Vital Point Strike, Charge Enhancement and Shadow Rush. Then for your gems you want to get both types, so one for cooldown reduction and the other one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the Gale Wind. Then as well after level 50 for your awakening skill you want to get the flash blink. But if you haven't reached level 50 yet, then here is a specific guide on which abilities you should upgrade first while leveling with the dead blade. And then on top of all this focus on equipping as high item level gear as you can. And then at the end game you should have 350 crit and 1250 specialization. But again if you haven't reached this point yet then try to have around 80% stats into specialization and 20% stats into crit. So then let's move over to the engravings and you want to get all of these 6. My recommendation is to first of all get the top 3 and then for tier 3 content get the bottom 3. And then last but not the least, let's move over to your cards. And you want to get the Armin, Syria, Solas, King Tyrin, Carmen, and Delane Armin. In a short summary, I did a bunch of testing for this build and this was the best and most optimized card set. But to find out everything in detail on this build with skill explanations, specific skill combos and everything else, check this video where you will find a full in-depth guide on this specific Deadblade build and much more. And just for a sneak peek, here's a screenshot of what this build will look like in the super late game where you will have more than 400 points to spend. Ok so then moving over to the rotations and I will give you two options. So the first option is the long one which I use for endgame bosses or for a lot of groups of mobs. So we want to use at the start the spin cutter and the maelstrom and then our rest damage skills. And then by our first skill rotation we should have around 2 to 3 dead orbs. So we want to activate our special mode and by pressing the Z key again it will automatically consume our orbs and our character will perform a blade burst skill which will deal massive amounts of damage. And then the second option is for a short rotation, which I usually use for smaller groups of mobs or for single bosses. So this time we use again the spin cutter, then the maelstrom, then the soul absorber, then the void strike and then we finish it off with the moonlight sonic. So in my summary, if you are looking for a very high DPS build with huge AOVs and a lot of mobility, then this is the best dead blade skill setup for you. So the Gunslinger can use 3 different weapons in order to match any fight, which makes this very powerful class during the leveling and dungeon farming process. She has everything in her kit including mobility, single target and AOV damage. And as you have 3 different weapons with multiple abilities in each one, you can never run out of skills to use. So if you are looking for the best leveling, raiding, chaos dungeon or any other PV content build, then this is the one for you. Ok so now let's move over to the build itself and these are the skills you want to have. And just before we start you need to know that the Gunslinger has 16 different abilities and you'll be able to use all of them but not all of them should be upgraded. So in this build part I will show you the only skills you want to upgrade and then keep the rest of your weapon skills at level 1. So then for the first ability we have the quick step and we want to use just 4 levels to unlock the life absorption. Then for your gems you don't want to select anything and then lastly for your rune you want to get the rage. Then for the second ability we have the dual buckshot and we use 10 levels to select in a tight spot 
enhanced fire and final blow. Then for your gems you want to get both types, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the next one we have the target down ability and we use 10 more levels to unlock the quick aim, large magazine and steady aim. Then for your gems you want to get both types, so one for cooldown reduction and the other one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the fourth ability we have the sharpshooter and we use once again 10 levels to select the special bullet in a tight spot and guardian's breath. Then for your gems you want to get both types, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. Then for the next one we have the shotgun rapid fire skill and this time we use just 4 levels to unlock in a tight spot. Then for your gems you want to get both types, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. So then for one of the last abilities we have the spiral tracker and we use 4 more levels to select the weakness exposure. Then for your gems you don't want to select anything. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the conviction. Then for the 7th ability we have the dextra shot. And for this ability we don't want to do anything besides just selecting the judgment rune. Then for the next ability we have the focus shot and we want to use 10 levels to unlock the quick aim, double tap and final blow. Then for your gems you want to get both types, so one for cooldown reduction and the second one for damage increase. And then lastly for your rune you want to get the gale wind. And then for the last and final ability we have the perfect shot. And we use our last 10 levels to select the stable stance, kill confirmation and prepare shooter. Then for your gems you want to get the damage increase gem. And then lastly for your rune you don't want to select anything. Then as well after level 50 for your awakening skill you want to get the high caliber HC bullet. But if you haven't reached level 50 yet, then here's a specific guide on which abilities you should upgrade first while leveling with the gunslinger. And then on top of all this focus on equipping as high item level gear as you can. And then at the end game you should have 1250 crit and 350 swiftness. But again if you haven't reached this point yet, then try to have around 80% stats into crit and 20% stats into swiftness. So then let's move over to the engravings and you want to get all of these 6 engravings. My recommendation is to first of all get the top 3 and then for tier 3 content get the bottom 3. And then last but not the least let's move over to your cards and you want to get the Armin, Syria, Solas, King Tyrone, Carmen and Delane Armin. In a short summary I did bunch of testing for this build and this was the best and most optimized card set. But for you to find out everything on detail about this build with skill explanations, specific skill combos and everything else, check this video where you will find a full in-depth guide on this gunslinger build. And just for a sneak peek here's a screenshot of what this build will look like in the super late game where you will have more than 400 points to spend. Ok so then let's move over to the gameplay. So then the highest damage rotation is to use on the pistol either way the spiral tracker, equilibrium or dexter shot. And then now we do damage by using the rifle and target down and focus shot skills. Then we go to the shotgun and use dual buckshot, sharpshooter and shotgun rapid fire. And then we switch back to the rifle once again and finish it off with the perfect shot ability. So in my summary, if you are looking for one of the highest damage builds in Lost Ark then this is the one for you and that's about it. So I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Lost Ark builds that you would like to see in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you wouldn't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I'll catch you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace.